<laughs> hey guys, this is Miss Amanda and Mr. Carson um, coming at you for six at six. Um, we miss seeing you all in person and we miss being at youth with you guys. Um, we wish we could be there tomorrow, um, but we're really excited to do this. Um, Carson and I really want to do like a mini series on the passage in the Bible about the armor of God. Um, we feel like it's really important in this time since everyone's kind of going through a lot um, and the devil can take this opportunity to kind of find our weak spots. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in to reading the passage. It's Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 13. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Yeah. So, this passage this that Amanda just read uh, is at the very end of this letter. Uh, Paul wrote this to the church in Ephesus, uh, and the this is basically the conclusion to the letter. If you've ever written a paper for school, it's always like, okay, write an intro, write three paragraphs, and then write a conclusion where you summarize everything you just said, in case your teacher's dumb. So, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Edit that part out. Uh, <laughs> so, he's summarizing everything that came before in the letter, in this little passage right here, saying, finally... Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. So that's the main point he's trying to get across. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. That's the command. The next two verses uh, basically point out how you should be strong in the Lord and why. Uh, and the how, verse 611, Amanda, would you mind reading that for me? Yeah. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Boom. There you go. That's how. Put on the full <laughs> armor of God. That's how you be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Now, why do you need to be strong in his mighty power? That means read, if you wouldn't mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Verse uh, 12. 612. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Yeah, so there you go. That's the why. You put on, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. How? Put on the full armor of God. Why? For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, authorities, and the powers of this dark world. So that's the how and why. And then, verse 6 through 10, he reiterates the point in the first verse, in verse 6 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. That's it. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Yeah. So that's it. The command, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. How? By putting on the full armor of God. Why? Because evil's coming for you. <laughs> so put on the full armor. That's the main point. Um, and it's an offensive and defensive thing that you see in this verse uh, in 610. He says, be strong in the Lord. So that's be strong and in his mighty power. So it's not enough to just be strong in the Lord. You also have to be uh, in his mighty power. It's like there are bodybuilders who can put on tons of muscle and be these huge intimidating guys. But if they don't know how to use it, then they're just walking around showing off. You know, uh, they're just saying, hey, look, I can spend a lot of time in the gym. And that's good for them. That's great. I wish I could do that. Look at that. But, <laughs> but it's not enough. You also have to be in his mighty power. So it's muscles plus martial arts. Taking something that's great and adding an offensive approach to it. Using Use, it for good. Using it for good. Using it to fight off the devil. Um, put on the armor. Fight the devil off. That's the basic point he's getting across. Um, and in the following verses, uh, Paul goes into the specific pieces of armor that a person should wear. The what? Would the you rather? What? And I'll go ahead and read that. This is Ooh. verses 14 through 18. Um, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. 
In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions and with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Great. So in future videos, we're going to dissect each piece of armor individually, go into why each one is important, how you can apply each one to your life. Uh, but that's further down the road. For now, just know you got to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. It's real important. We can't wait to talk more about this with you guys. Um, we really miss you. Um, and we'll see you later in the week. Thanks for yep. joining us tonight. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're going to eat tacos. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>